How you doing? My name is Father Stan Fortuna and I'm here with Street Talker for Life on the Rock. And starting in October, this is going to be the year of the Eucharist. The Holy Father is kicking it off. So I want to really share with you about the Eucharistic amazement that he really intends to get going with this whole thing. And he talked about this in his awesome encyclical on the Eucharist. He puts it like this, he says, The church draws her life from the Eucharist. This does not simply express a daily experience of faith, but it recapitulates, that means it repeats the main points of the heart of the mystery of the church. And the gaze of the church is constantly turned to her Lord present in the sacrament on the altar, in which she discovers the full manifestations of His boundless love. That's awesome. The full manifestations of His boundless love, which rounds off and balances out all the incompleteness in our lives, as well as in the culture. The thought of this, he says, leads to profound amazement and gratitude. This amazement and gratitude should always fill the church assembled for the celebration of the Eucharist, but in a special way, it should fill the minister of the Eucharist. That's me and the rest of my brother priests out there. So all you guys out there sitting in the church and us who's leading you into this thing ought to be filled with amazement. This is his point. And he says, I would like to rekindle this Eucharistic amazement. Next time you go to church and you feel bored, think about that. Because the cultural wasteland got the best of you. The cultural wasteland is, is just desecrating you. It, 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 and God wants to be blessing you. So let's th let this Eucharistic amazement that the Holy Father is really pressing for rekindle us. I would like to rekindle this Eucharistic amazement by the present encyclical letter in continuity with the Jubilee heritage which I have left to the church in the apostolic letter Novo Millennio in Wente and its Marian crowning Rosarium Virginis Mariae. To contemplate the face of Christ and to contemplate it with Mary is the program which I have set before the church at the dawn of the third millennium, summoning her to put out into the deep on the sea of history with the enthusiasm of the new evangelization. What you waiting for? Peace and blessings.